Stop me if you've heard this one before. The Roseau girls basketball team is headed to state. For the third straight year, the Rams are headed back to the Class 2A tourney, but for the first time as the top-seeded team. Does this state tournament really feel like some unfinished business for you guys? Yeah, really, because the last two years we... We've done, we've done good, we just haven't done like the best we can. After two straight state tournament appearances, including a fourth and third place finish, the Roseau girls basketball team has their sights set on only one thing this time around, a Class 2A state title. Yeah, it's state championship, that's our new goal. It's been since the beginning of the season, and we're so close. We want to end this the right way, and we've gotten this far, and uh, it's just time to finish it. The Rams come into state with the top seed in the tournament and a perfect 29-0 record. I think it has given them an element of just confidence and, um, and maybe a little bit of swagger, but in a good way. But that doesn't mean they're overlooking their competition. Any team down there is going to be really good because they obviously made it to state too, so I think that we just need to make sure that we play together and keep our heads straight and like be calm but also like have a lot of intensity and just play our best and I think we can pull off the wins. They'll look to push the pace offensively just as they've done all season and they say they're going to need everyone on the team to contribute and play their role. From the starters to the girls kind of in the middle to the girls that are just energy um, and excitement on the bench. We, you know, if you've got a varsity jersey for us, it's because you have a role. Because it's time to make history and bring the first girls basketball state title back home. It's crazy to think about. Really exciting and humbling and, um, you know, we just feel a lot of love and support and excitement from the community and, um, yeah, hopefully this is our week. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.